1989 Pontiac Trans Am pace car. They actually used the Buick motor in that Indy pace car Trans Am from 1989. I have, uh, we have seen a couple of those. There's actually one for sale right now. But before we get into today's video, let's give an official shout out to our official sponsors. The we got the graphicspotva.com right below. You need anything graphic related. And Etsy you, store. Well, Etsy store, he's right. I forgot, my bad. Etsy store too, anything uh, graphic related, graphic arts, decals, t-shirts. Yep. Bam. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's doing uh, tumblers now, engraved tumblers. Uh, engraved um, patches on the hats, yeah. yard signs, um, clean signs, of course, decals, t-shirts, hoodies. He's doing it all, y'all. So y'all reach out to him. And we're going to give another shout out to another sponsor, Innovative Powders, right? Right there, Innovative Powders. We're going to have the uh, his uh, logo up in our video, Innovative Powders. You know, if you need any powder coating done, you got need powder coating projects, anything of that nature, uh, reach out to him because he can get it done. And we got some, uh, we got, we actually got some powder coating projects yeah. that we're going to be bringing uh, in focus to you guys that he's going to do for us. I just got to go in the shed and fetch those extra parts that need to be powder coated because we're working underneath the hood of uh, GNX 548. We're trying to get it together, innovative powder coating, powders, innovative powders, uh, it's going to get us right, you know what I'm saying? Get that under hood right for we can, you know, go to the car show and feel uh, humbled and um, and proud of what we have uh, in uh, 1987 Buick Grand National. Today's video is on the origins of the Buick Grand National name, the origins of it. Uh, because we always talk about the Buick Grand National. We always, uh, I'm going to give Peanut the paper. Here you go. Peanut got the paper. And we're going to speak about the origins of the Buick Grand National and the name. Uh, I know first and foremost, uh, I knew that the name came from NASCAR. Because they used to call this NASCAR series yeah. back in the early, late 70s, early um, 80s, uh, the Grand National series. So Peanut got the paper. I got the paper for Peanut. He's going to start reading off to us some of the origins. And if he needs help, I'm going to be there for him. You know, I got Peanuts back at all times. Uh, the origins of the Buick Grand National and the racing heritage. This car right here, it says Buick. I thought it said Grand National. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It says it on the side. It says it on the sides and in, 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 in the back, in the trunk. Three places on the car. Both fenders, front fenders, and the back trunk lid. Uh, go ahead, start us off, Peanut. What, what, where's the origin and the racing heritage come from when it comes to the, uh, the Grand National? National. The uh, Grand National harks back to NASCAR top stock car racing championship, championship, which was known as the Grand National before it officially became the Winston Cup. So it was the Grand National Series before it was the Winston Cup Series. Yeah. So that's what you got from that, right? Go ahead, read us some more, read us some more. In the early 80s, Buick aimed to shed its imagine as image image as marker of as maker of conservative doctors doctors, doctors cars and inject excitement excitement into 
It's slime. You're doing good. You're doing good. Okay, this is what Buick, Buick marketing team came up with this idea of like, let's stop uh, catering to the demographics. This is stating the conservative doctor, but I say the demographics to the older generation. Uh, so Buick wanted to add some excitement to the lineup, which they did a good job with this car <coughs> doing that, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the car came with power. Because a lot of the Buick cars uh, in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, didn't come with a lot of power. I can't say that about the early 70s because those GSXs and those Skylarks and all, they came with those big blocks with a lot yeah. of torque. So I can't speak on that, but I know in the early yeah. 80s, the cars kind of lost their power and, yeah. and performance. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, you lost track. Right there. The first Regal. The first Regal Grand National was unveiled. Yeah, unveiled. Unveiled at NASCAR 1982 Daytona 500 with just 215 units produced. In its, in its debut. You're right. So all. Um, it debuted in the Daytona 500 in 1982, right? And it, yeah. and they only uh, made 215. Buick had to make 215 because of, uh, I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, Team Run It, put it in the comments, homologization, I think that's the word. So pretty much, it, it, they were still about that uh, race on Sunday, sell on Monday uh, concept. So they brought out only 215 Buick Grand Nationals in 1982. Yeah. Buick's factory back, backed Regals driven by Daryl Waltrip. Waltrip. Mm -hmm. Kinch back to championships in 1981 and 1982. So in 1981, 1982, Daryl Waltrip campaign in a Buick uh factory back regal and he won in that and i think that regal that he campaigned in was the mountain dew regal remember yeah. we went to the nascar uh we went to in charlotte north carolina we went to the nascar museum right remember that mountain dew regal yeah that was in there that that's that's one of the cars that won the championship in 1981-82 so you know daryl wall trip thank you sir yep. you know you uh you, you you helped the buick grand national right yep. so you know or the buick regal go ahead Turbocharged V6 engine. Yep, that's the heart, right? Yep. That's what we got, right? We got a turbo V6, turbocharged V6, 231 cubic inches, sitting right there, y'all. It's sitting right there. We got an extra one over there, which if y'all been following the channel, y'all know that. Uh, you know, none of our uh, Buick Grand Nationals is swapped or anything. We that To me, that's what makes the car. That's why I'm trying to keep it that way, even with the drag car, right? It ain't gonna be 232. 30, it ain't gonna be 231 cubic inches in the drag, drag car. It's gonna be more than that. Yeah. Okay, where are we at with it? Go ahead. Uh, the Turbo V6 project traces back to 1973. Yep, 1973. When the, when the engineer Ken Baker initiated it, initiated a Boy Scout Explorer. A program at Buick's engineering department. So what, what Pina is talking about is like a Boy, Boy Scout Explorer program at Buick's engineering department. So the, uh, the V6 was, a, um, was pretty much, the concept was in 1973. But I keep thinking, I'm thinking those Jeeps, the older Jeeps came with this V6. I can't remember. Yeah. I'm going to have to do my research on that piece right there. But it says in 1973, you know, what, what was his name again? 1973, his name, Engineer Ken Baker. Yeah, it's right here. All right, go ahead, read the next one. Buick Engineers turbocharged the... Yeah, V6. Hold on. Buick Engineers turbocharged the revived V6. V6. Aiming for performance in a lighter, in lighter cars and fuel of efficiency in the larger... Larger one. So that's why Buick, if you notice, the V6 didn't come in the bigger Buicks, like the, uh, what a Park Avenue, uh, I can't remember the other Buicks. You know, the, the big ones, the big four door ones, they put them in the Regals. They put them in the G bodies, pretty much, especially the Regals. The Turbo V6 also 
found its way into the Buick Andy Pace hole where it ran at 21 psi more boost than muffled fluid race cars it paid. Yeah, you're right. So it ran in the Indy Pace car. And the Indy Pace car that we're talking about is the 1989 Buick. I mean, not Buick. 1989 Pontiac Trans Am Pace car. They actually used the Buick motor in that Indy Pace car Trans Am for 1989. I have, uh, we have seen a couple of those. There's actually one for sale right now on Facebook yard sale out of Chesterfield County. There's one for sale. I want to say the guy's asking 25K, 27K. I can't remember uh, the numbers on it, but it is one for sale here locally. The Grand National Evolution continued. He's doing good, y'all. Where you at? I, I done got lost. Oh, okay. The Grand Nationals. Ah, let me finish up. Culminating. You're right, culminating. culminating. You don't want to give up, do you? Go ahead. All inspiring. All inspiring. So, let me read that again. The Grand Nationals Evolution. The Evolution. So, we all know that the uh, GNX means Grand National Experiment. If you don't know, you know now. The GNX means Grand National Experiment. It means that they took a Grand National to experiment with it and they evolved it into what we know as the 1987 modern, what we know into the 1987 GNX, right? Yeah. And with the GNX, in 1987, only 547 was made. Yeah. Initially, they only made 500 GNXs initially, but then there was a high de uh, demand for them, so they went on ahead, uh, Buick went on ahead and made a couple of more. And, that, and that's how we end up with the additional 47. <coughs> the GNX Grand National Experimental was limited production with Where are you at? Menacing. 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 All black styling. Ain't that why we love the car, y'all? Yeah. The menacing all black styling, right? Black bumpers, black uh, headlight bezels, the black trim for the tail lights, the car yeah. in all black. Menacing, right? I actually, that's why I took that picture earlier, too. Y'all took a picture earlier when we was on the golf cart because I felt like when we drove past the golf cart, the car was sitting in here staring out the garage looking very menacing. Ain't that a good reason why I got the, see, that's why I took that picture. I'm going to share that picture with y'all, too. Under the, under the hood, it packed a turbocharged V6 engine producing impressive power. Yep, so we all know that the yeah. GNX, uh, is more powerful than the Grand National. Yeah. We we know that off top. You know what I'm saying? It packed a, a punch and torque, uh, additional horsepower. Uh, I want to say the horsepower was bumped up to what? 280, 300, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, horsepower with a, with a ton of torque uh, because ASC McLaren put their hands, put their magic on the GNX. Yeah. What else you got for us? He's doing good, y'all, right? He's doing real good. I'm proud With of him. With its aggressive appearance and potent performance, the GNX became a legend among muscle car enthusiasts. enthusiasts. So the GNX is a living legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a legendary car. You know, it's one of my dream cars. Of course, the Grand National was one of my dream cars. But if I could have did it all over again, I already got a GNX, but they only made 547 of them. Yeah. Uh, and I'm wondering, and y'all uh, comment in the bottom team running, how many GNXs do you guys think that are left? I hope all 547 are still around, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm hoping, I'm thinking, but how many do y'all think is left? Or, that's left, you know what I'm saying, out of the 547? You got to remember, this was yeah. back in 1987. We're in 2024 now. Who knows? You know, I hope all 547. I used to be part, I used to uh, always read on the uh, GNX registry, but I don't think it's been updated lately. I'm going to have to uh, look into that, the GNX registry. I can't remember the website, but yeah. But hey, Peanut did good, y'all. Let's give him a hand. Give him a hand. You did good, man. I'm proud of you. Um, so, 
So we were just trying to present y'all. This is a little inf informative information video for the origins and the race heritage of this car behind us right here. This car behind us, right? So, so you learned a lot. You learned some more today, right? About the uh, Buick Grand National, yep. Buick GNX. So, you know, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit, the, and hit that notification bell. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate all the support. Yep. You know, bring, uh, it's been a while since we brought a uh, Buick Grand National informative uh, video, and we just wanted to bring our first one in 2024. We appreciate you guys. You know, team run it. We really do. We appreciate you, team run it, and we appreciate the people that's been coming up to us lately at, at the local events. You know, uh, especially more racing and performers. We gotta shout shout you guys out, right? They got a fast truck, y'all. They got a fast street truck. You know what I'm saying? We gotta shout out more racing and performance, man. It, those are some good dudes right there. But hey, me and Peanut, we out because we getting cold, right? Are you cold? Oh, he ain't cold. That means we're going to stay out here some more. Hey, we out. Peace. Peace.